Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine some ideas for the Animate Your Name project. So right now, when I click on the letter J, it's going to play a sound. It's going to change the color and add some fisheye effect. And then it's going to get bigger, changing the size by a positive amount, and then get smaller, changing the size by a negative amount. Now, I wanted to do this while it also goes to a random position somewhere on the stage. So to do that, we... Um, as we talked about in a different video, we could make it glide so we could have it go to a random position. So maybe I could put this right here and then I could tell it to do this forever. And so it'll do random position and changing the sizes. So now check out what happens. So see how it's moving to a position and then it gets big and small. Okay. That's kind of cool, but that's not what I was going for. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. What I wanted to do instead is I wanted to change sizes forever while it's also moving to a random position forever. So I need to have this in its separate uh, forever loop. So it changes sizes forever and it goes to a new position forever. Now we can actually use multiple events of the same types. So we can say when the sprite is clicked, not only is it going to do this code, but it's also going to do this code. However, before I click on that, I want it to start in this position every single time. So I want to make sure that it goes here. So now when I click on the letter J, not only is it getting bigger and smaller, but it's also moving around the screen while it's doing that. And if I press the green flag, it will reset it to the starting position because I added this on here and it resets it to the correct size because that is on here. So what I want you to do is I want you to try experimenting with combining different ideas together, maybe putting loops inside of loops and seeing what happens, or maybe using multiple when the sprite is clicked uh, blocks. So that way you can make it do many things when you click on one sprite. So go ahead and try that on your own project. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.